gave Doctor Doom the Twilight Sword in exchange for leading you into my domain. He has rather unique plans for Asgard. The resourceful Doctor stands a very good chance of succeeding. But enough of Doom. My wait is over, and now my minions will take your astral spirit. Next time, we're coming to fight somebody who has been shown in the
on health.
I died. I do hate to ruin this happy moment, but I failed to mention one slight detail. This echo of your friend is all too easy for me to control. Isn't that right, Miss Gray? Quite correct, Lord Mephisto. Now, destroy your friends, that I might take their astral energy. Brief pleasure. was right. I'm just an echo of my real self. I can't leave this dimension. I'm sorry, but I can't leave here. And we have to face facts. You can't defeat Mephisto. But I can. By sacrificing what little energy I have left. Nothing can be done for me now. And I would rather die than spend an eternity here. Take care, my friends. Tell Scott I love him. And tell Logan... Goodbye. All right, Mephisto. I'm done playing games. Get ready to face the power of the Phoenix! Stay back from me! I command you! Stay! <sighs> She did. Jean couldn't leave that realm, and she was the only one who could defeat Mephisto. There were no other options left. Now is not the time for sorrow. My friend gave her life to save you and to aid you in your mission. Go. Stop the masters of evil. Do not allow them to achieve success. And Jean Grey Jean, I hate to even bring this up. Mephisto did mention Dr. Doom had plans for Asgard. Return to base as quickly as possible so that we can respond to this new threat. The loss of Jean Grey is a tragedy. 
No one believed more deeply in the X-Men's struggle to promote understanding between mutants and humans. And while we may miss Jean as a friend, the world is going to miss her as the rarest type of champion there is. I wish there was additional time to mourn Ms. Gray's death, but from what was heard in Mephisto's realm, we have to get to Asgard quickly. To go to Asgard, use the Orb of Teleportation. Whatever. Greetings. I apologize for not giving you my full attention. Using... Yes. I'm not... No. I'm not... No. Your... What's going on? Hey, Ghost Rider, how was Murder World? Not as much fun as it sounds, Dr. Pym. You know me. I... When you're done here, you have to get to Asgard. Use the Orb of Teleportation when you're ready to go. I don't know. It makes no sense. Mephisto and Doom have been enemies a long time. For years, on every Midsummer's Eve, Dr. Doom attempted to invade Mephisto's realm and retrieve his mother. When Doom was very young, his mother made a pact with Mephisto. She promised her astral spirit in return for the power to destroy a baron who was impoverishing her people. Right. She couldn't control the power and wound up killing almost everyone in her village. She died shortly after and became the prisoner of Mephisto. Yes, oddly enough, Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange teamed up and went to Mephisto's realm. Together, they freed Cynthia Von Doom. Without a doubt, the Tome of Asarius listed the coordinates of Mephisto's realm. With that information, Doom could properly attune Nightcrawler's teleportation portal. Anytime. This next mission is going to be your most but to You are co What may I do for you? It is a pleasure. Hello, and welcome back from Murder World. Do you require information? 